follow Tato Toast for your Instagram feed to get those Instagram likes, but at the opportunity cost of not being able to buy a house. Let's go. So let's talk about settings. I'm gonna be shooting at a 2.8 aperture, 200th of a second shutter speed. So that's how quickly your shutter is opening and closing. And then I'm shooting at ISO 100. I'm shooting at ISO 100 because I don't want any noise or grain in the photo. And I can afford to shoot at such a low ISO because we have beautiful natural light coming through. All right, so to take good photos of anything for Instagram, you want really good lighting. Right now we have an amazing light source being this window that's casting a really beautiful natural light right here. So we could have put the avocado toast over here, but you can see this is very dark and there's not good lighting over here. And it's, it's all provided from these tungsten lights. But if we put the avocado toast right beside this window, holy shit, you're gonna get like a million likes on Instagram and yourself or the photographer through the roof. So my framing right now, I'm getting nice and centered. So you can see just to the top of here. If you had it over here, you can see some leaves. Maybe you want that effect, but I'm gonna frame it so just the wood and the avocado toaster and the frame for the first photo. Another nice tip is to get nice and high to get an aerial shot of your avocado toast because it, a nice point of view coming down will look really good and if you have nice symmetry on your Instagram feed, bonus. All right, so now the next tip is to add some of your lifestyle into these photos. So say if you have cool sunglasses, you have a cool phone with a cool case, and you got a mad cock because you spent $20 on this visit, um, you wanna show up people that you spent money because you go to coffee shops, you're a cool photographer. So what we're gonna do here is kinda set up everything really close to the natural light. Window is key, everyone. And now we're gonna start with an overhead shot. All right, so I like this photo I just took because it does a couple things. It has that plant in the frame that kind of leads you in with your eye. And then you can see the natural light coming into the frame here and really lighting my avocado toast. And then at the end here, you can see everything here. So this is a raw photo. Being it, We're gonna be able to bring up the shadows in this part of the photo. Well, this is a good exposure because if we blew out all the highlights, we would blow out the highlights in the egg. So I'm actually gonna show you, if I blew out the highlights, what that would look like. So right now I just blew up the highlights. This is a shutter speed of 30th of a second. You can see the eggs are too white and you won't be able to re recover that in post-production. So that's why in this photo, I underexposed it a little bit so then I can bring up the shadows in post-production and we'll show you that in a couple seconds. So now let's switch up our angles. When it comes to composition, we just did the overhead shot, which is awesome for Instagram, but now we're gonna switch it up a little bit. So we have some cool leaves here in the background, which is really cool for bokeh potential. So I'm gonna be shooting from a low perspective and I'll be able to get these in the shot and then the flowers that are hanging upside down as the focus. So let's get that photo now. So I like this photo better than the overhead shot because it has more elements to the photo. You can see that we have actually a background now instead of just a wooden table. Because I shot at a 2.8 aperture, it's a really shallow depth of field, so only our Avocado toast in our coffee is in focus and then the background is out of focus So it's a really creamy shallow depth of field and that's why you want to shoot at a low number with that has a big aperture Do some close-ups of the coffee You kind of want to tell the story of why you came to this coffee shop you drank coffee you had avocado toast You're doing some social media work with your phone Awesome guys, so those were some photos that we took some extra tips for you guys with doing with these photos is after, since you're at this coffee shop, you're gonna edit these photos. A nice tip is to actually send it to the coffee shop that you're at. Every time I go to a coffee shop, I'll take photos of their stuff, maybe me with the coffee, I'll post it to Twitter, Instagram, social media, Facebook. I'll email it to the owners as well. And every time, almost every time, they'll post it on their own social media accounts. And then that's just a little extra exposure for you as a photographer, which is really, really valuable because you know if you're in your local community maybe other photographers other people will see that and it's great exposure so that's the last little tip for that hope you guys enjoyed this little video of taking the photos of your coffee be a badass photographer i'm sorry you can't afford a house because you bought avocado toast but that's your doing but yeah get some more instagram likes see you guys in the next video